A top WWE superstar sends a message to Vince McMahon after Raw. Kofi Kingston reveals that WWE scrapped a WrestleMania match with a fellow star. And The Undertaker sends a hilarious message to Braun Strowman's dad. What's up everyone, I'm Jose G and there's a lot to talk about in today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. Never miss brand new content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. A top WWE superstar sends a message to his mentor Vince McMahon after Raw. Raw superstar Austin Theory had a message for Vince McMahon following this week's episode of Monday Night Raw. In the show's aftermath, Austin Theory was interviewed by Sarah Schreiber backstage. During the conversation, the up-and-coming superstar reflected on his win over Finn Balor, boldly claiming that he made his mentor Mr. McMahon proud. Theory further added that he is currently focusing on the Royal Rumble and after winning the match, the former NXT sensation will be headlining this year's WrestleMania. On this week's episode of Monday Night Raw, Vince McMahon and Austin Theory were once again involved in a backstage segment. The WWE boss was seen telling Theory that if he didn't beat Balor on Raw, he would beat Theory himself and take a selfie to send to his mom. The match between Theory and Balor saw the former pin Balor with the ATL. In the closing stages of the contest, the former Universal Champion missed a coup de grace and took a dropkick from Theory, which eventually led to the win for him. In recent weeks, Austin Theory has been very impressive on Raw. This will be his first ever Royal Rumble appearance and is looking forward to stealing the show. Kevin Owens provides an injury update after his big win on Raw. Kevin Owens' latest win on Raw was pretty significant. He pinned the United States Champion Damian Priest being the first to do so in singles competition since the Archer of Infamy's main roster debut last year. Owens outwitted Priest using an injured leg technique. When jokingly asked by a fan on Twitter, he provided an injury update. Kevin Owens was hosting the KO show with Seth Rollins as his guest and he was interrupted by the United States Champion Damian Priest. It led to a non-title match between the two, with Owens becoming the first man on the main roster to pin Priest in singles competition. To do so, he used an Eddie Guerrero-like technique of faking a leg injury, allowing him a moment to hit the stunner on a distracted Priest. Owens was just faking the leg injury, but a fan sarcastically asked him what the condition of it was. Owens gave a wholesome response in the process. Many have felt that KO has taken his character to another level after re-signing with WWE. He has been in prominent spots, especially his involvement in the WWE title feud in December and his current association with Seth Rollins has only elevated him further on Raw. Both Owens and Damian Priest declared their entry in the 2022 Men's Royal Rumble match. While neither are expected to win, don't be surprised if Owens topples and eliminates the US Champion in a move to continue their feud. Owens vs Priest could be the next big US title feud on Raw. Given that Priest's momentum has halted slightly since Survivor Series, it wouldn't be surprising to see WWE reward Owens his fourth United States Championship. Kofi Kingston reveals that WWE scrapped a WrestleMania match with a fellow star. Kofi Kingston almost got his match against Mustafa Ali at last year's WrestleMania. Kingston recently sat down with Alistair McGeorge of Metro Co. UK to discuss all things WWE. During the interview, Kingston revealed that the original plan was in place that would see him face off against Mustafa Ali at WrestleMania 37, but unfortunately it got changed. Without Ali's injury years earlier, Kofi Mania would have never happened. Kingston admits he was disappointed that he and Ali never got to tell the story on the grandest stages of them all, as he believes Ali is an innovator in the wrestling business. Saying, quote, It was really disappointing, man, because I think he's so amazing in the ring and such an innovator. He finds ways to do the littlest things in such a different way, but he puts his own spin on it. He has a great mind for the business and a great mind for storytelling. I would love to get in there and mix it up with him. I thought it would have been the perfect opportunity to do so, but again, things change, and that's the nature of the beast. Not to say I wasn't upset about it, but I wasn't really surprised that they did the change." End quote. The Undertaker sends a hilarious message to Braun Strowman's dad. Gone are the days when the dead man used to go out of his way to keep kayfabe alive and preserve the aura of his iconic character. 
For a while now, he has been enjoying life outside the squared circle and occasionally shares out of character posts on social media. Former WWE superstar Braun Strowman recently shared a post wishing his father a happy birthday. Wishes poured in from the wrestling world in the comment section, but one message stood out from the rest. The four-time WWE champion sent a hilarious message to Strowman's dad in the comment section. The Undertaker has been using social media for a long time now. He uses his Instagram handle to post pictures of his family or to promote appearances. Sometimes the pro wrestling veteran chimes in with his opinions on posts made by fellow wrestling personalities. The WWE great has nothing but respect for Braun Strowman though. The former Universal Champion once opened up on Taker's heartfelt message to him and Roman Reigns after a match at a WWE live event. It's nice to see the dead man break his character and show off his funny side. However, some of his diehard fans could feel a little weird seeing their favorite star break out from his persona. Charlotte Flair wants to feud with Bianca Belair and other female superstars. SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair has shared that she's open to working with Bianca Belair and other stars like Naomi and Shayna Baszler again in WWE. The Queen has shared the ring with all of them before. She defended the Raw Women's title against the EST of WWE ahead of Crown Jewel and is scheduled to take on Naomi this week on SmackDown. During a recent interview with TV Source Magazine, Charlotte Flair name dropped some stars and said she'd like to settle some unfinished business. Saying, quote, I never had a full feud with Naomi. I'd love to face her again. I want to do a full program with Shayna Baszler. I admire her and her background. I also think that Bianca and I need to have a full program at some point. I had a taste of what we could do on Raw, and I'd like to go back to that and have a full program." End quote. The Queen said that she would like to fight everyone jokingly, that she had unfinished business with everyone. Charlotte Flair is an 11-time women's champion and one of the company's biggest stars. In the same interview, she talked about how aggressive she can get with Ronda Rousey and Asuka. Flair mentioned she wants to be the killer queen and show her aggressive side more often. Charlotte will compete at this year's Women's Royal Rumble match. She has disclosed that if she wins the bout, she'll face an opponent of her choosing at WrestleMania. Thanks for watching today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. For exclusive content that you never want to miss, you gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that notification bell so you never miss whenever we drop brand new content. Follow us on all social media and download the Sports Kita app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.